Uh, you know, Joey's probably one of the best, or if not the best player in the nation. So having him back on the field with us, even though we had guys step up last week, Jalen Holmes and Sam Hubbard, having him back on the field is going to be fun this week. What does he bring more than anything else to the mix, Raekwon? Uh, his great playability, man. He always, you always know that Joey's going to make a play every now and then. So just his great playability. Uh, how impressed were you with Hubbard and Jalen and where they stepped in and stuff, though? I mean, were you talking to them a lot during the game and keeping them up? I and mean, just what was your what was your approach with them and how impressed were you? Man, I think on the Silver Bullets, man, we just hold everybody to a high standard. So I wasn't really surprised that they had great games because we've been having hard practices. They've been working hard this whole camp. So I was really expecting them to play good. What was it like to have Curtis Grant back on the sidelines with you for that game? Um, it was a good. It was just good to see a smile on the sideline, man. Just see my boy out there to support me on the sideline. Every time I looked to the sideline, he was out there rooting me on. So it was real cool. Juan, from your standpoint, uh, was that the most plays in a game you've ever played at Ohio State? And how did you feel you held up over that whole uh, stretch for the entire game? Uh, I don't. I don't know how many plays I actually played, but yeah, it was. It was my first start. Uh, great atmosphere. My teammates were there for me. My D line played their behinds off. My my back end played their behinds off. Our D offense held it down. So I'm just happy for the same win. Coach Meyer said you graded out as a yeah. champion. How, how does that feel as a first time starter to grade out as a champion? I mean, it's real cool, man. You know, uh, coming in your first game, your mom's texting you, your whole family's texting you. Uh, you're starting to get emotional, but you got a lot back in to really uh, take control of yourself. Raekwon, what's it, Raekwon, what's it going to mean for you to start at The Ohio State University in the horseshoe? That's why you come here, the people, the tradition, the excellence, to start in the horseshoe. What's that going to mean for you this Saturday? Yeah, my first start in the horse, horseshoe, man. I just, I'm just ready to go out there with my teammates and go have fun, man. It, it means a lot to me that I'm able to go out there. It's truly a blessing. I want to thank God, man, because uh, this has been a long journey, and I'm finally there. It's finally here. It's a unique week, obviously, because of the time frame. It's very short. How are you all as players adjusting to that and trying to study for a completely different opponent? Yeah, I mean, I think we just sticking to the coach's plan. Coach Mick and Coach Meyer and the whole coaching staff and the whole training staff have a great plan ahead, ahead of us. Uh, they know what they're doing when they get us ready for the game. So uh, we just stick to their plan and just to get ready for the how, game. How much do you know about Hawaii right now offensively? Uh, you know, every team in the nation has great players. I know they have a – a tall, big quarterback or something like that. Max Wittick, oh, yeah. yeah, Max Wittick. From yeah, I mean, uh, great quarterback. I mean, we just got to go out there and play. I don't know much about the offense yet, but we're getting there. Yeah, have you, have you seen, I was going to say, we're sitting here on a third Wednesday afternoon. Have you, y'all are on a short week. Have you seen much of them at all yet? No, yeah, uh, yeah, me and a group of guys, me and the linebackers sat down with Coach Fick and we watched some uh, game film on them. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, are, are y'all telling yourself this is a short week? Everybody's got to row the boat a little harder. I mean, you know, what, what's sort of the approach, Raekwon? Uh, we're cheating like a regular game week. Uh, you know, our coaches handle the preparation and our and our schedule, so we just stick to their schedule. And after that, we just go out there and uh, play our game. Raekwon, does your body feel back to normal yet after getting home so late after the game, or are you still thrown off a little bit? Uh, I got 8 a.m. classes, man, so I don't got a choice <laughs> but to uh, be ready for the game. But, yeah, my body still feels – it feels great, man. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just ready for the game. Did everyone make their 8 a.m. classes on Tuesday? Yeah, that I know of. Yeah, everybody made them. In other words, you're not going to tell them. I mean, no. <laughs> nah. Hey, Rick, on seriously, though, y'all are playing a team you've never played before and stuff. Is this intriguing to you to be playing a, a Hawaii? I mean, what does it – when I say Hawaii, what comes to mind, I guess? Uh, the culture of Hawaii. I, it's it's going to be fun to see them after the game, after we uh, the game's all said and done. Uh, meet some of the players and get to know some of their coaches. Raekwon, describe your relationship with uh, Curtis Grant, linebacker last year. Some people called him, you know, your big brother. Now so you're stepping in. Man. Thanks, man. It's our Sugar Bowl a couple <laughs> years back. I used to play ball back in the day. Too, man. Um, your relationship with him and, uh, you know, really stepping into a leadership role this year for the Silver Bullets. Uh, you know, Kurt's always been an inspirational guy in my life. Yeah. You know, ever since I stepped on campus, man, he's been the guy that I looked to when I needed some. Uh, when I needed some guidance, he's been my older brother. I cool, uh, got my stripe off when I first came here and stuff like that. My first one to get my stripe off. But uh, just knowing that I got him on my side anytime, anytime I call him up. Yeah. I'm actually talking to him right now, texting him right now. But, yeah, just knowing that I got him on my side is real, real cool. That's cool. Cool. Rick, yeah. how hard is it to go from a game that was so hyped to a game that's receiving subsequently less talk and discussion? Uh, you know, we, uh, we treat every game like we're playing – Whoever comes out of the tunnel, we treat them the same, man. So we're going to play up to our standard, not to their standard. So uh, we're going to come out and play as hard as we can, as fast as we can, 46A to B, uh, just going hard out there.
Hey, Raekwon, Last that, that third down look that you guys gave against Virginia Tech where you and Josh were like up on the line to stand up ends, is that something that was specific to Virginia Tech or is that something you guys are going to try to use throughout the season? Uh, you know, you got to ask Coach Fick that. I don't really know. I, I don't really know about that. But, uh, yeah, we just came up on the line just to show something, show something new, I guess. Did you like it? Did, did it have an effect? Could you see it having an effect? Oh, yeah, man. I, I would have put my hand in the ground if you wanted me to, but <laughs> it was real cool to uh, stand out there on the end and uh, rush.